This is Salo from smnnews.com. This is my interview of Jared from Head PE, who's playing tonight in San Francisco at the Fillmore with Suicidal Tendencies. In case you haven't heard, 9-11 was an inside job. Pulled off by those Republican neocon fascists. I don't want to be a fascist pig. off some of the influences to be found on the look at this. A musical? Ah, uh, you know, Suicidal Tendencies, Hate Breed, um, Devo, you know, uh, Jay-Z. <laughs> Labeling music is hard, especially for Head P.E. where we're doing all this stuff. I think it's dumb to call us rap rock because it's not all rap. Because rap is rap, and, and um, I'm doing more than, and I love rap, but if you listen to the album, there's a lot of yelling and screaming and singing going on, and the actual rap, it is in pure, in the pure rap sense, is, is about 5%, you know. Of course, a lot of the hardcore vocals are, like, done with a kind of a hip-hop rhythm, but, and the new metal thing, Maybe for the first version of Head PE in the 90s, but now the sound's completely different and it's more just metal and hardcore punk, so I don't get the new metal anymore. I mean, but even in the old Head PE, I tried to get. I like used to beg the guitar players, let's do more, you know, straight down the middle, heavy, hardcore stuff, and they just weren't wanting, they, they just didn't want to do it, you know. The one guitar player was into very light-hearted, uh, not even to heavy music at all, and the other dude was more into kind of like, you know, depressing, heavy music, so. I'm totally stoked that uh, meeting Jackson was part of the whole master plan because he's got this heavy metal thrash punk thing that's just perfect for, for what I'm doing, you know, vocally. John Witherspoon on this album, which is, he's known for Seven Does, which is like a very soulful kind of band. Right. To fit him into a song, I <laughs> imagine it's kind of like... Well, you know, the song was already written and I had already recorded the vocals for the chorus myself, but... Uh, to me, like when it was done, I was like, that's a song that Lejean could really fit into because a lot of, like you're saying, is not all that much head PE stuff. Well, you know, that, well, you know, and again, we're, we're always doing different types of music, so. But when that song was finished, I was like, because I wanted to get him on the album because I am a fan of his vocals, so. When that song was done, I was stoked because I knew he would be a good fit for it, you know. Do you have any singles prepared for release, music videos? Oh, we're, we're going to do, like, the Lejean song will be a single, and then Children of the Fall will be a single oh, for sure. Yeah. If it's going to be heavy, it needs to be truly heavy. And that was, uh, if it's, you know, if it's going to it's gonna go hip-hop or blues it needs to take it there as far as it can go you know each style needs to kind of be authentic with maybe a, a bit of a thrash garage twist to it you know it's okay. yes that's my son are you okay it's okay Truth Rising we did like in um, a studio in uh, in um, a studio in Irvine and then uh, I did the vocals and mixed it at my house. You bought some new recording material. Yeah, yeah, I bought a new uh, I bought <laughs> I bought some new equipment for my home studio. <laughs> it needed an upgrade. If you push me, San Francisco Renegades are gonna say, I'm gonna push you right back. It goes like this. It goes a little something like this. Girl, if you push me, I'm gonna push you right back. If you push me, Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's me. Yeah, all the vocals for sure. That's crazy. Fucking <laughs> is Lejean the only guest? Yeah, he's the only guest on the main album. I got these kids from Psychopathic to help me on the. Uh, there's a bonus CD with some bonus tracks that I'm sure will be on iTunes. I did like a remix of Takeover with uh, the Axe Murder Boys from Psychopathic. I just, I've always been known, uh, you know, to do a bunch of different styles of vocals. In the original days at the major labels, they were thought that was the worst thing that I kept sounding like too many different people. And that's what they would say, like, it sounds like different people. I'm like, oh, whatever. 